Hey everybody, Joe Friesen here with another episode of Rubber's Conversation. Well, today's going to be a slightly different episode. Uh, I was planning on going outside today and shooting an episode, doing my usual garbage pickup and uh, have a little chat, but turns out that it is uh, miserable and raining out there. So uh, things are going to be a little bit different today. We're going to be staying inside and we're going to talk about uh, anxiety and the weather when days are like today and especially on special days like today which is a solar eclipse how that affects anxiety um, a lot of people talk about feeling under the weather and I think this is exactly the type of day that points that out I have had a really rough morning if I seem a little bit more off than usual then you know, you'll hopefully you'll understand I have medicated a little more than usual as well so um, that's helping combat that but it's it's not doing it a hundred percent days like today are really hard days days like today are really hard on a person with anxiety and depression and stuff like that and another thing that I have a problem with is um, back pain joint pain muscle pain that kind of thing and these days are just the absolute worst. Um, you know, a lot of people think that that weather doesn't affect people, but it, it does. Maybe not everybody, and maybe not to the same extent, but it does. Um, sorry, people going by, <laughs> distracting me here. Um, you know, I'm going to go sit down and relax a little bit and set up and have this chat with you guys. We'll see you in a second. So, this morning I woke up, and I woke up shaky. I could tell it was weird, like as soon as I get up out of bed in the morning, if I'm a little trembly, a little shaky, a little off, I can tell right away there's something wrong with the day or either that or I, I'm, I haven't taken enough medication or something. So when I wake up shaky like that, I check out what's going on. I look out the window and I see the weather and it's like, oh, okay, that, that explained it and it's going to be a, a hard day. I honestly haven't really found a great way to fight the weather and to fight cosmic events you know um, it, it's tough you just have to be aware you know check the weather and, you know know that the next day is going to be tough you're gonna have to work a little harder to get where you want to go and do what you want to do and uh, you might have to up your medication or however it is that you you fight your anxiety and your depression and, and all these things. Um, routine is still an important thing. Do your routine even if it is a rainy day. You wake up, you feel you don't want to do, let's say you don't want to do your yoga or you don't want to go for your run or do your walk or whatever your morning routine is. You just don't want to do it, do it. Even if it's raining and your thing is running. Put on some wet, uh, wet gear, go for a run, go out and get wet. Just do it like there's a saying uh, some people walk in the rain and some people just get wet I like walking in the rain um, you gotta take that positive spin on it and if you are doing something that you enjoy or something that you feel you have to do for me a lot of it is I feel I have to do this because my physical health and my mental health is very closely tied together and that'll be another topic for another episode um, but the weather and um, you know even astrological signage and stuff like that like the eclipse today is the Sun is in Leo and then the moon is going to be in Leo and I know astrology whatever a lot of people don't believe in that stuff but I feel it has some sort of effect on you you know people are people are animals animals are affected by the tides affected by the, the everything around them everything in nature it's impossible not to be so the best thing you can do is be prepared for it and learn your reactions and learn how to fight what you're up against um, you know uh, you can do stuff like even just turn on something on the on the TV that's nice bright sunny vacation pictures remind yourself of happy times you know uh, if you have a sun lamp have a have a sit, have a sit down under your sun lamp for a while, and get some of that positive uh, sun energy into you. That positive light energy, the uh, the rays just make such a difference. 
so those are those are ways for me I guess I should take my own advice and start doing a lot of those things and way to help things be a little easier but uh, uh, a lot of times I forget what I know you know and you fall into the traps of the weather and things getting you down and that's what anxiety is for me a lot of the times is just kind of a spiral things get worse and worse and worse and you forget you you get so caught up in what's happening to you and how you're feeling and what's going on in your world that you forget how to fix it and you just have to keep reminding yourself of what works for you how you can pull yourself out and just I think the main message that I want to get across in this video is that these things do affect you if you're sitting there and it's a rainy day and you're like oh man it's just it's it's just a rainy day it's not really you know it's not it shouldn't be affecting me like this it's not really that bad and it's like it affects a lot of people very seriously and to varying degrees so if you're sitting there and going oh rain doesn't bother me at all good for you it does affect a lot of other people so just if you're thinking you're crazy and you're thinking oh you know uh, it's a full moon tonight you know everybody says it, but when there's a full moon everybody goes crazy and I think there's truth to that you know I don't think everybody turns into a werewolf but you things go differently in your head when when there's different phases of the moon different tides different whatever whatever you're close to like if you live close to the ocean I can see you'd be tied in even more closely to the tides and the moon and stuff like that I live in the middle of the prairie which is as far away from the ocean as you can get so you know maybe that doesn't affect me as much as other people uh, might so you know just know that it does affect you and try to remember to use those things that work and if you don't know things that work work use these days to work it out and figure out what works and try different things you know just whatever whatever you do just don't give up you know these are the days that make people give up these are the days that pound you into the ground so bad that you can't get out of bed you know I'm I'm so thankful that I don't work anymore for now because it's giving me that chance you know in days like this I used to wake up and I'd be just done you know you, you just you wouldn't get me out of bed and now it's a whole lot easier it's still hard obviously but it's a whole lot easier so I guess the main message there is try to remove big stressors from your life so that when days like today happen they're not completely debilitating um, no how to prepare for these days be ready for them and my dad's here so thanks for joining me on this rubber con rubbish conversation we'll see you on the next one peace I love She does this every now and then. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be there when I turn my screen back on. <laughs> That's what gets her. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, oh, oh. Can you please scroll past it so I don't look at it anymore? Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay